So the idea of visibility is um, huge on an industrial network. I mean, one of the biggest pain points that we see when it comes to ICS networks is the fact they don't even know all the assets that are out there on the network. And so one of the key points is to have that asset visibility and really have that good inventory of all your OT assets. Taking it a step further, um, you need to not only have that visibility of the assets and know it's there, but you need to know the configurations of those assets. Um, and at Tripwire, we've got a, a couple different techniques that we can use um, to not only discover assets, um, but also ga gather that configuration data. Um, so one of the so um, solutions is a, is a truly passive approach. Um, that approach is actually li listening to the traffic on the network. Um, from there, we can kind of fingerprint what type of device it is. We can also you know, get the uh, model, make, and serial number of that device. And then from there, we can extrapolate if there's any vulnerabilities uh, on a particular device and do some network mapping and that sort of thing. Um, we also have an active approach where sometimes it makes sense where you want to go out and gather um, even additional information from a particular device. Um, and so we can go out and do some what's called active polling or querying the device um, and even gather additional information that you might need for a particular device. I mean, it's one of the things about um, when you are taking an active approach on these particular networks is a couple things actually. One is you want to make sure that you're communicating in the native language of the particular device that you are communicating with. So, you know, whether that's Modbus or Ethernet IP SIP or ProfiNet, you know, whatever d uh, language that particular device is talking, and it's typically based on the manufacturer. You want to go, if you're going to be going in and actively querying that device, you want to make sure you're doing that in that native language that it understands. Because if you go out and try to query a device in a, in a language that it doesn't understand, you are um, introducing risk in the fact that you might um, knock over the device or, you know, essentially, uh, you know, which could lead to stopping production of a particular uh, process. So you just got to be very careful um, when you are doing active polling or active querying. And again, making sure that you are taught communicating to that particular asset in its native language. So when you're talking about visibility, it's a combination of several approaches that truly make sense. And again, we want to start with probably the passive approach um, and, and getting the, the full asset inventory of everything that's on the network. Once you have that, once you understand what the devices are, then it really makes sense to you know, start looking at an active approach because you can gather so much more information when you're actively querying a device using its native protocol because um, you can use the standard commands that that device would be used to seeing in the language that it would be used to communicating in. So um, taking both a passive and active approach just gives you so much more of a robust data set um, when you're talking about these particular um, devices on an industrial network.